Hey, Friday email listers. This is our last database of the semester, and I'm going to focus today on scholarly resources because typically what you're going to want to find for um, to fulfill the requirements of your uh, recommendation report or your bibliography that you have to put together is scholarly things. Now, there's two different ways of looking at scholarship on the databases that I'm looking at today. One of them is public policy. So, for example, the President of the United States says, um, cars that are sold in the United States by the year 20-something or other have to get, uh, on average, 37 miles per gallon or something like that. That's a policy. In every country around the world, minus a few um, countries here and there, they will be setting policies that will enable businesses to thrive while protecting the consumer, all sorts of things like that. All of those typically have commentary on them, and they're all very related to business because if somebody changes the policy, it might affect your business here and there. Um, some are just popping into my head as we go, but I'm going to focus on uh, one in particular. Another database I'm going to show you is called Green File, and that talks all about environmental concerns, sustainability, um, you know, the, the whole image that you get with the whole green culture these days. Everything in business is related to sustainability and greenness, even if it's just putting up a, a good image. So let's start with the policy one first. So article databases, this one is called PAIS. It's going to look familiar. Under the letter P, it's the first one. PAIS International, it's public policy. Now the first search that I'm going to do has already been populated here. I, I did a test search. If you look, I did a star, and if you remember this from previous Friday uh, videos, I don't know if I'm doing airline or airlines, airliner, but if you put the star there, it'll catch all of those. It's called a, a wildcard search, or it's sometimes you can use it to truncate words and things like that. And fuel. I'm just interested in fuel policy. And this, again, you don't have to put in policy. Thanks on the survey. Now what this does is I've only got 32 results, but this is narrowed down to just public policy again. This is what we looked at newspapers in, this same um, uh, database vendor called ProQuest, but this isn't newspapers. As you see over here, there's scholarly journals, or there's books, um, and I have it sorted by publication date, most recent first. You can also go by relevance, but I do the, this one because of the topic that I'm looking at. And Unfortunately, the newest one isn't that new. It's a few years back, but there's a lot of talking here of how the airlines are affected, usually negatively, but then they pass that on to the consumer where uh, you have fuel prices. So if you're talking about in your airline that you want to get rid of the specific a la carte pricing, so you have to pay for a pillow, you have to pay for a piece of lettuce on your airline food, you have to pay for headphones. If you want to get rid of those things that are annoying people so much, then you have to figure out how to get around the volatile fuel prices. In your article that you're talking about, this would be a great article to talk about the problem and why airlines had to react with those different pricing schemes. So that's PAIS. Oh, by the way, you'll see this SFX button. That's what you click on to get the article, typically. If you see this, it might still be available electronically. Just send me um, this citation, and I will try and find it for you. Another database I want to show you is called Green File. I've already gotten into that database, and I'm going to do the same search. Airline, star, and fuel. Now this one's just talking about environmental issues and sustainability, and so you get, even with the same search, it's completely different. There's green fuel for the um, airline industry. I know Virgin Atlantic has a, a bio, it's not biodiesel, because planes run on something else, but I think they're one of the leaders of that. Um, alternative jet fuels. These industries are looking for alternatives because the traditional petroleum-based ones are really giving them a rough go because the pricing is so unpredictable. And so that's where you'll find those sustainable articles. Really great. Oh, there's fuel hedging. So that's even like a strategy for getting around that. What a great idea. At any rate, on this one, you click on the Get It. It also says Check SFX. They're both the same thing. And again, on this one, oh, there's full text. And this is scholarly as well. So 
if you need to fill in those scholarly articles. These are great to support those. Um, please take my survey that I will be sending with this email. I'm going to send you another email asking for you to take the survey as well. So if you don't get around to it this time, um, that's fine. Thank you very much for taking part in the Friday email list. Don't forget to contact me. I will be here um, every day in the library. and You can ask for Dale the Librarian, and I am happy to help you with any of your classes, not just the business ones. Um, and so have a nice summer. It's been great working with you.